Okay, YouTube, so Paul Bates here at Daisy Day 81, and I graduated in 1981 from high school, so it's a big day. And this is something I wanted to share on video for a long time, and uh, it was a big part of my life. So we're going to go back in the future here a little bit. So right now we've left Tesoro. Um, last week we had left Tesoro, and we were living in St. George in our RV trailer that we had bought. So one thing I have is I have a nephew and he's just a badass and, and he was younger at the time you know he's probably 18-ish at the time and he started this trail called the John Merle Trail well he went in at Yosemite and he went in with a couple of buddies of his and by the end of it uh, nobody was uh, you know stomaching it and they all left Johnny and he had to was by himself and he came out at uh, Bishop so I told him uh, I would go back in with him at Bishop and we would go summit Whitney and then come down Whitney. Well, in the process of all that, I, uh, I talked Beverly into it. And this is just to show you the type of adventures that uh, we, we've lived through in our lives. So this is a big part of my life because I was in the process of, uh, you know, I have a good job now at Tarnowski. And I was saving a lot of money. That's that, that was the name of the game. And this is something we could do. It was a big adventure. It took years, uh, you know, it took about a year of prep to get ready for this trip. And then it took, uh, uh, you know, and just practices and all kinds of stuff. Me and Johnny did several trips before it, getting ready for this trip. But when we got out on the trail here, I did a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, just a few little videos here. And I just want to share them with you guys because it's just raw emotion. It was, it was, it was incredibly beautiful and it was an experience of my life, <laughs> but picking Beverly on it was on freaking believable. When it, when it was over with, I said, no way. Like we, it took us two tries because we ended up here on this, on this particular day. We came in uh, uh, Bishop and we came out Corsage Patch. We could not take it anymore. It was, it was that brutal. It was a, it was a little less than a hundred mile uh, jaunt by then. and. Uh, we were done, just physically done, and it was the mosquitoes that got us. It was just miserable. The mosquitoes made it so miserable, it was bad. Anyway, here, here's the videos. <laughs> this is Mather Pass, it's 12,100 12, feet. It was a 4,000 um, 4, foot as ascend today. Very, very difficult. I just want to die. Is that the trail, that little dirt path I see from mm -hmm. right here? Oh, so we're going to be out in there. Was not easy. Was not. I just. Day four on the trail. Brutal day. We've done two 13 mile days. But today we did a 4,000 foot ascent up the top of the trail and then we did another four miles after that. It's really hard on all of us. Oh. It's, I'll tell you what, it's absolutely beautiful, but it's a lot of work. My feet are doing okay. I think Beverly's neck is done. I think she's pretty much done. Once we get to Corsage, she's got to come out. I'm thinking about it seriously. It's a lot tougher than uh, anybody could even ever imagine. This is our campsite with our little tent. Johnny just sleeps under the stars. Gladiator. Day five on the trail. Mosquitoes are just have eaten us alive. We're all just about as miserable as you can be. Can't eat anymore. It's. No, I shouldn't. It, it, we're all just sick. Even Johnny's not even up to it. <laughs> we have 48 hours to where we can get out of here. So we'll see our test of wheels. It'll be one step at a time. We're just going to have to take one sure. little step at a time, baby steps, <laughs> and it's going to be a whole adrenaline getting us out of here because 
I think it would have been a funner trip if it wasn't if the mosquitoes wouldn't and we had a just tent. eating us up. Ugh, it's been a long day. It wasn't as bad a pass today, but it was hard. Tomorrow we've got a hard, hard day in front of us. All right, the mosquitoes are so bad. We've turned a two-man tent into a three-man tent for the giant. <laughs> for the giant. <laughs> So all three of us are sleeping in the tent because we just can't take it. We've actually come up with a song for the mosquitoes. It's a little X-rated, so I'm going to save it for maybe the trail tomorrow when we're walking. Because I don't want anybody to see. But we hate mosquitoes. <laughs> They're bad, mosquitoes. dude. Yeah. But the song does go. So it's either walk, 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 and never stop. It's basically what we're doing just to stay out of the mosquitoes as much as you can. Just went through a... Uh, thunderstorm it's about an hour we had about literally about one minute to set something up so we set up the the tent with uh, just the rain shelter and tried to keep everything as dry as we could it came fast it was brutal I'll pan out and you can see the hail Uh, I don't know, brother. It's 3.30 in the morning. Yesterday that storm cost us a lot. So this morning we're going to try and make a run for it. Try and get out of here. It's going to be a 14 mile day. We're doing everything we can to lighten up every pack. <sighs> it's a gorgeous morning. Uh, it's not too cold. Stars are out. Sun will be up in about an hour or so, so we'll be all right. What a long night. It's hard to explain the beauty, but we're walking around a lake right now. This is the actual path. This will be the last lake we probably come across on the trail, I think. We're gonna go, go summit, one more big summit. It's just gorgeous. The whole trail hasn't been like this, but I mean, it all has its beauty. Today was one of the harder days. We did like a 13 mile push. We got up at 3.30 in the morning and ran hard over two passes. Now we're sitting here in town. We just had the biggest Mexican dinner you could ever have. It was awesome. And we're waiting for Mary to pick us up. She should be here any minute. Oh, what a trip. It was great. We had a lot of fun. And it was exciting. And glad it's over and we're glad to be home anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that it was it was a time in my life that it was unbelievable and, and the beauty and i wanted to share it as it's, it's a video i've been wanting to do for a long long time actually so anyway paul and daisy enjoy yourselves uh, I got a big uh, thing on Tech Tuesday here. I'm finishing up this, uh, not finishing, I'm just starting the solar project. Man, these panels were massive. Look at these things. Just massive panels here on top of the trailer. So it's going to be a, a very cool system and, and fixing this trailer. I also got a lot of exciting stuff going on. So we'll talk about the solar project on uh, Tech Tuesdays. We'll, we'll talk about it. Anyway, Paul and Daisy, peace out. We love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it wasn't that much fun to make. <laughs> if I had to do it all over again, I want nothing to do with it ever again. Jonathan, since then, has gone and done Mount Everest. Uh, he did not summit Mount Everest, he just went to the base camp one, but that's just a huge accomplishment in itself. So, but me and Bev have set that out. 
I, I once thought I could do Mount Everest, but after doing that, uh, just summoning Whitney, that no, it's, it's, it's not for me. Anyway, I tried. I love you guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye.